Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And usually I talk about business, but today I actually don't want to talk about business. I don't want to talk about clients. I actually want to talk about abundance. So this is something that uh, you may be focused on, but you may not be relating it to actually how it relates to your business. This whole feeling abundant is something that is a, an invisible energy. And it's not something that you can go get. It's not something that you really can, can learn. And so today I just really want to help you understand how abundance is, is really the answer to getting clients, making money, and just being happy in what you do. So, you know, this is something that um, I, I really feel as though uh, is lacking in the entrepreneurial world. Many people, or I'm sure, and I'm sure you've been one of them, because I know I have, you go and you try to look for clients. Um, you know, I, I took a poll many weeks ago of, uh, in my group about what people were really struggling with. And it sounded like everyone was struggling making a consistent income and getting clients on a regular basis in their business, whether or not they were currently making money. And so this I see as a progressive pro problem that's happening to a, a lot of, especially online business owners. And it's the one thing when you go and you try to get clients that is actually keeping clients from finding you. I'm gonna explain that in a second. So today we're really just gonna dive into um, how abundance is related to, to getting what you want. So when you go and you try to get clients, try to make money, you know, I, I, I have heard and have uh, once believed, you know, you get clients from Facebook. So I see a lot of people that spend countless hours on Facebook. You know, you go and you hang out in groups, you try to share things, and even when you don't think that you may think that, you kind of silently do. Uh, and thinking that is actually coming from a state of, um, of lack. By Every time you say yes to something, so, you know, maybe you didn't say yes to Facebook, but, uh, or to any way that you think that you get clients, you know, building a list or anything like that, you just by creating that rule for yourself as part of what you need to do in your business, you have just said yes to it. So you have just added on a belief and we, you know, as humans, only have 5% mental control of our conscious thought. So every time you add on a belief, every time you add on a rule that you believe to be true, whether or not it's true, it becomes true for you. And every time you do that, you're saying no to something else. So if you believe that there are certain rules that have to happen in your business in order to get what you want, um, then you, you're literally cutting off all other possibilities. And so this is where overlearning happens is that you try and then you go and you try to, to learn more because clearly you haven't gotten what you wanted. Um, and let's say you're not attracting regular clients or, uh, or they're not buying from you or you, you haven't made the amount of money that you want. So you keep going and, and trying to do and learn things that will help you get that thing. But getting is actually the opposite of abundance. It's when you are trying to, trying to get something, you're actually saying that you don't have it already. So you're like, well, of course, Shauna, I don't have money. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to say is when you are trying to get something, you're literally, uh, if you want to call it a vibration or an energy, you're in a state of lack. You're, you have a, a scarcity mindset. 
And that state of lack and scarcity mindset is a silent energy. It causes you to do certain things, to maybe uh, try to learn certain things, and um, try to adopt certain rules and take on certain uh, practices that you think will get you closer to what you want. But as I just said, you know, that's a state of lack. So, so you are not actually believing that you already have the answers. And so this is where um, a lot of lack of clarity happens, is that if you're learning things that maybe inherently you don't believe to be true, or you, or you are, something doesn't like vibe with your values, but you're still trying to do it because you know that, you know, every, everybody's doing it. Well, everybody's on Facebook and everybody gets clients from Facebook, so that must be my answer. Well, everybody says you have to have a list uh, in order to make money, so that must be my answer. Well, you know, everybody says that they, they that you can make money by doing this one thing. So every time that that happens, and let's say you know, but deep inside that doesn't that doesn't vibe with you. You're going against uh, who you actually believe that you are, and this causes like a a restriction kind of like a, 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 just a sort of like, if you want to look at it like a, a wall, it's just like you're building walls around, around your brain. And as I said, every time you say yes to something, you're saying no to other things. And unfortunately, you know, if you're saying yes to a lot of things that are just clogging your brain, what you're really saying no to is that part of you that I call your highest value. And rather than then trusting yourself you know you may call it trusting the universe or whatever but trusting that uh that you with whatever past experience you have you with your heartfelt intentions don't have enough that part of you not only gets buried inside of you uh, on top of all this additional uh, information and rules that you've set up but it actually like kind of goes away and, and you lose focus on it because you, if you only have five percent of conscious control of your thought, even maybe you made it didn't even know that that was your highest value. But now you're so not focused on it, you're just focused on what you don't have, and that's called the opposite of abundance, right? I mean, if you if you are focused on getting something, you've now buried your personal value inside of you. Uh, because you don't think that's the answer. Uh, you've lost trust with yourself, not on purpose, but just because now you don't have what you, what you want. You, you, you feel like you need to learn more and get more. And, and it, it becomes like this, this bad cycle. And so today, I just want to end that cycle because it's actually the opposite of what you need to do to make money and to get clients. And this is going to seem like it, it's just so not true. But if you go away and really gain clarity in your own mind, you know, I went off Facebook for three weeks because I had to get clarity in my own mind. And then I woke up and I was like, wow, you know, this is so weird because I didn't believe any of these things before I got on in, in these groups of people. And, and uh, I seem to be, have been doing just fine. So this is about understanding, I'm gonna go a little woo woo, but understanding the feeling that is going on inside of you when you are working at anything that you, um, that you, that you do. So, you know, you're a business owner, so I'm sure, I know for me, you know, I work on my business 24 seven, not because I have to, but because I'm just so passionate about it. I love what I do. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I do it. I just do it whenever. And so if you're spending all your time doing that and it's like making you, uh, in the state of lack, you're like your biological system is literally, uh, in fight or flight mode. You know, we have our three brains. <laughs> Yay, I get to bring those back in. We have our three brains. 
our fight or flight brain, where every all information passes through first, our emotional brain, where your heartfelt gut reactions are, and your stupid thinking brain, the one that is logical but also judges you. So if you are stuck in fight or flight mode because you're in a state of lack, your genius emotional brain can't come up with different solutions. It can't go and spot things uh, and, and maybe you call it manifesting. You manifest what you really want. Uh, we have a, our reticular activating system, which is it, it's, it spots things that your brain is focused on. But remember, we just said all those blocks are there, so you're not focused on any of that. So instead, I just want you to take a step back. We're going to just free your mind. And I want to ask you, just, I mean, hang with me here because, as I said, I'm going a little woo-woo. But what makes you feel happy? Like, just in your life. Like, when I feel happy when it's sunny outside, when I'm walking with my dog, when uh, I just, I, I'm focused on, um, you know, being around friends that I really like. And when I'm happy things just naturally seem better, right? People come to you, that everything seems kind of easy, and, uh, and, and you're just uh, in a very happy state. You don't have to go and get friends, they just kind of are naturally attracted to you, and you, you have a very um, calm state about you. And so, really, you know, now, what makes you happy in your business? You know, I know for me, I, I'm really happy when I get to write, when I'm talking with clients, uh, when I, I just feel really inspired and I learn something and I want to teach it. That makes me really happy and it makes me feel really confident. And when I do that, um, those are things that produce value for the people that, um, that I serve. And that's like something that, that I can use uh, and that you know, SEO uses to really um, attract clients to me. And not only that, but then, you know, my brain isn't so focused on getting clients. I'm actually just in this very creative mode so I can come up with new ways that I can put myself out there, new ways to make money. Uh, just, I, it becomes a very open and uh, light feeling as opposed to you know oh, I gotta get a client oh my god you know oh you know what I'm so worried about money or oh uh, I've got to go build this list that I mean just me saying it, it feels like tight and um, and heavy and like ugh, just ugh. And when, when that feeling happens inside of you, you show up with a different energy. I don't care if you're talking to anyone. I don't care if you're even writing anyone, anything. But you're showing up uh, wherever you are in your life, in your mind, with a very heavy, low, withdrawn vibration. And that is not just the silent energy that happens and commu communicates online, but it, you communicate it with everything you do. Every time you write, every time you speak, and it causes a lot of like just lack of clarity in your brain. So if you're feeling lack of clarity, it's really this state of lack that you're in. And so what you need to do is just free your mind. What makes you happy? What is the feeling that you want to have in your business? Like, when you are at your highest success, how will you feel? I know this sounds really weird, but I want to feel like excited and happy and, and creative. I want to feel light and free. And so I know that whenever I don't feel that, then I'm in a state of lack. And I need to focus more on that I feel light, I feel free, I feel happy. And do the things that make me feel that. Because as I said, when I do that, I produce 
the highest value. I'm more creative and I produce things that are of value to my clients. So what makes you happy? So I recommend that you create a, a higher self profile. I call this your success identity. And you, you, you write down three to five words that represent your highest self. These are three to five words that maybe you admire in somebody else, um, something that, that you really wish you were or wish you were more of. Because in actuality, just by understanding those three to five things, those things are already inside of you. You already are those things, but all those blocks and the negative energy and everything is keeping you from focusing on them. And so when you don't focus on them, they, they just get buried and, and then that state of lack happens. So write down three to five things that represent your highest self. And then every day, several times a day, I want you to ask yourself, how am I being this? How am I being light? How am I being abundant? How am I being, uh, feeling, for me, it's like happy. I, I wrote, it, wrote them down on, on, in, in big letters on my wall so that every time I do something in my business, it's kind of like, I look at it like I'm blessing my energy. I'm blessing the, the feeling that I have inside of my, myself. I was talking with somebody yesterday, and if you're a type A, high achiever type of person, uh, chances are you, you're a, high, a type A person. <laughs> So you, you tend to, what I find with my clients is that it, when you're that type of person, you tend to go into like busy mode and, and you, you start like trying to pump out information and, and, and it becomes a very unenjoyable process. And then sometimes you just get lost doing that. So I actually have to like take time to like breathe, remember to breathe. And, and uh, even when I'm excited, like sometimes I forget to breathe. I have to breathe and I have to just remind myself what is my end goal because you know what getting clients is not your end goal your business the purpose of your business is to have a happy life it's to make you better to make your, your life better to make you to make you happy and you don't someday go and achieve that you don't get what you want by someday achieving it you get it by owning that now because in fact that's what people will make people want to work with you is that when you are at your highest state you are abundant and you are happy that's attractive and that is what most people want what you don't really understand uh, is that people buy your confidence, they, it's, it shows up, however you, you show up when you're at your most confident self, that's, that's a, a, a secret magnetism. It's just you being you out loud. And you don't think that that's what people really want. You know, you think you have to like dumb it down into like this cookie cutter thing. That's not it either. Because when you do that, you just silence your value and then you can't be creative you can't do the things that you know best and it just doesn't show up you know the online environment is very crowded and when you don't show up as you you just show up as generic and you know what generic gets nothing <laughs> generic is just being a bad version of somebody else Instead, why don't you be the good version of your best self? I call that rising up to your full potential every single day. It seems so simple, but it's the hardest thing you will ever do. To think that you are just magical, being you. You with all those challenges you have, you know, me with my, my challenge skin. <laughs> but just being me... I mean, there's 7 billion people in the world and, you know, not one of them is me who has had the same life experience, 
who, who worked with all those stores, who, who feels so much for people that I cry sometimes, who went through, you know, my parents dying and, and understanding and learning all these things about the brain and the mind and holistic health and no one else is me. And does that make me better than anyone? No, but it just makes me me. And when I can appreciate me, first of all, to me, that's what life is about. I've just achieved my highest success. If I died tomorrow, I'd be happy. Second of all, now I've gotten rid of the blocks that are blocking me. I can move towards what really inspires me. And now I can produce high value things in the way that I want to. So what this really entails is, uh, so if you're in a state of lack, what you need to do is to stop holding so tightly onto what you believe to be true about your business. If there are things that make you feel tight and constricted, instead of, you know, but, but this is how it's supposed to be. I want you to just picture letting it go. Do you have to build a list? I don't know. I know many people who have achieved major success uh, not by having a list. I mean, I'm talking about online entrepreneurs. I, I know many people who have achieved success having a list. I know people who have, um, have just sold many different things, just producing, producing, producing uh, with nothing, just like a Facebook page. I know people that have built out websites. I mean, you can come up with whatever you believe. You can go and Google it, and I'm sure you'll find proof of it. But right now, when you're in this get clients, make money mindset, and you're only surrounded by what you know to be true, you can't go even find those things because your mind isn't even thinking that. But let me tell you, when you are willing to trust yourself, to let go of, of the things that are heavy in your life, to let them go and say, God, the universe, whatever, myself, I trust that everything is going to work out. If I do the work, trust myself, keep moving towards what inspires me, new things will come into your life. Simply by you showing up at your highest value every single day. I call it a money code. Not just because I created Master Money Code, but it's really a money code because it has nothing to do with even clients. It's just about how you show up as your highest potential and can do whatever you do best in a systematic way that will bring you the money you want, the abundance, the feelings. It's not about putting yourself into a box. It's about creating your own open top box. And it's based on you, your highest value. Then everything that falls under that can, you know, you can go crazy on. You can go crazy in your marketing. You can go crazy in whatever. But you have your reason for why you exist. It really has nothing to do with your business. This is just, you know, being you naturally. So anyway, uh, now I just have one last thing that will help you get into this. So you can do this um, tonight or just right when you get off this video is to pretend like you have already gotten what you want. So this is about uh, uh, if whatever it is that you want, you know, like let's say, let's not t let's take, move it out of the business. So let's just say, you know, you, you want to be healthy and, and have uh, glowing skin. You want to ask yourself, you know, our brains are really looking for problems to solve. And so what you want to ask yourself is, wow, how did I get so healthy with this glowing skin? And, and you know, you really just ask yourself, how did I, how did I get so lucky that I am so healthy? I'm just, I have this like such glowing skin and your brain will automatically come up with things. 
It'll be like, wow, because you quit eating ice cream every night. Wow, you're so healthy because you added like all those antioxidants that you learned about. Wow, you know, you now get eight hours of sleep rather than two. And that's why you're so healthy. And then, that's, it's kind of like working backwards. Then, now that you, you're like, oh, well, maybe those are the answers. Well, how can I start incorporating that, those things into my life? And you can help, you can start having and attracting that abundance into your life simply by being the smartest person, not in the world, but to yourself. You have all the answers inside of you. You already do. You've heard that quote, and it just seems like a quote. But why don't you choose to believe it? I mean, there's nothing stopping you from just making a decision in your head that, yes, I have the answers. Yes, this scarcity mindset sucks. I'm not going to live in it. I'm abundant. I'm free. I'm light. I have clarity. I love being me. When I speak, people listen. Why don't you start saying those things to yourself and then prove yourself right? Not by looking for validation by others, but just for, by looking at it in yourself. Nobody else needs to validate you. You are as abundant as you believe that you are. And I'm telling you, when you can remind yourself and sit in that alignment of what you're meant to become, you will become that. You will attract what you want and you will make the money you want. And really, this has nothing to do with money. Because at the end of your life, you're not going to say, wow, I wish I would have gotten another client. I wish I would have made more money. You're going to say, wow, I'm so glad I touched those lives that I live my life every single day being happy, that I spent time with my family, and that I did what I came here to do as a person, a business owner. I don't know. That's how I want to end my life. So anyway, um, I, I would love to invite you to come sign up for my masterclass next week. It's called Master Your Money Code. I'm really going to talk about your money code and how it's a blueprint, a system, that you can use and and discover your own money code. I don't have your answers, but you do, and that's what this workshop is going to be. So the link is at, at the bottom of this uh, video. Please share this with a friend. Uh, you know, leave any questions. I'll be back on later, and uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye.